Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Getting family, friends, or employers to pay for services is as easy as sharing your WISE account. But what if you want to create a direct payment request for an easy transaction? In this video, I'll show you how to request payments in WISE, including how to create invoices and share payment links with clients or customers. Let's go. Of course, you must already have a WISE account to create any transactions, including payment requests. If you don't have one yet, sign up using my link in the description below to get a new user bonus. Once you're in, don't forget to complete the verification process by uploading a valid ID. Without doing so, it is not possible to send or receive money using WISE. WISE gives you two easy options to request payment. Either send an invoice with your account details or create a direct payment link that anyone can use. If you need to send an invoice, WISE offers a free invoice generator to create customized payment requests. Click the link below to access WISE's free invoice generator. Here you can manually define the necessary billing information, such as the invoice number, customer details, description of the goods sold or services rendered, and most importantly, the total amount due that you expect to receive. Once done, send the invoice to your customer and they can pay directly using the details provided. Another option is to share a payment request link, which is especially useful for personal accounts. Note that WISE allows you to request money in any currency, but if the sender doesn't have a WISE account, your request must be in a currency for which you have account information. To get started, Go to the balance for the currency you want to receive and click the request button. Next, enter the sender's WISE username, email, or phone associated with his account. Remember, you can't request payments from WISE business accounts or users who keep their details hidden. If you don't have a specific recipient, click anyone to create a shareable payment link instead. Once generated, the link comes with a QR code that payers can scan for easy payment. Before you share the payment information, you can also specify the exact amount you want to receive and add a note if necessary. Finally, save the QR code or copy the payment link and send it via email, messenger, or any platform of your choice. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.